over there. There's okay, like a amazing. Duncan collab with MIT. A Duncan collab with MIT. Dream yes. come true. Amazing. <laughs> hey, I'm Sam Clark with Crimson Education, and we're here at MIT, or the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, to ask some big questions. And here we are, under some big numbers. How about that? First question, uh, what's the best thing about MIT? I'm not gonna lie, like the clout that comes with the name is kind of nice. I feel like a lot of people, like opens a lot of doors for you and um, creates a lot of paths, so I really appreciate that. Amazing. Um, a lot of things, but mostly a very supportive community. I really, uh, the professors were nice to me, at least so far. <laughs> uh, and the TAs were nice, so you're allowed to make mistakes in any place I guess so I like that about it. I say like the people I think yeah. like I don't know like even though it's like a top college I think everyone's like really humble and like down to earth and like open to mm -hmm. making friends and helping people so I think that's pretty cool. Fantastic. Yeah and I also agree that it's like the people like we're all super like collaborative nobody's like trying to beat each other um, and yeah I just love the people that are around here. Um, I think the best thing about MIT is that there's so many people that are doing so many different things um, there's also like the UROP, which is like the research program, so there's a lot of opportunities for people to get involved in that. Um, and yeah, there's like things like milk tea here, grocery stores, so there's like a lot of opportunities. Being in a city, it's awesome. You got me there, I don't know. <laughs> good start, good start, powerful start. <laughs> the best thing is they pay for everything. Like like right. if you need financial aid, they'll, they'll give it to you. So. Amazing, amazing. Yeah. Nice. Location, I like the location a lot. I think we have the best location. I would say, our campus is really diverse, whether it's like people or it's the design of the campus, the buildings, and there's different styles and different, every, everywhere, everyone has a place that they would fit into. Fantastic. Yeah, I would also say location, but more like the fact that there are a lot of other colleges around where like you kind of, you're not in like your own little like only MIT people, you're kind of like dispersed and like yeah. you have friends from other colleges too. There's a lot of free food. You can free see. food, love it. <laughs> yeah, here's two bags of free food, yeah, and we're about, about to take free Dunkin'. More, more free food, amazing. <laughs> yes. Um, I really love the community here. I live in one of the dorm in, on campus. It's called Cindy Pacific. Um, I, I just really love the community where everybody just like help each other, and we all commu um, communicate with each other in chats or via email and stuff like that. Amazing. Um, and in contrast, what's the worst thing about MIT? I feel like it's kind of a pressure cooker here. Um, I had like way too many like long, long nights like doing homework and stuff and like sometimes I wonder what it would have been like to go somewhere where it's like it wasn't super stressful all the time. But at the same time like you feel like you're growing so I think it's worth it but it's definitely um, a struggle. Academics is really hard. There's a lot of exams. <laughs> is, it, is it exam season like right now? Wait, well, I low-key think it's exam season all the time. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I pretty much have exams like every week till like the end of the semester. Yeah. So <laughs> I already care about that. <laughs> I say the architecture L <laughs> I I think some of the buildings are really questionable looking. <laughs> but that's the, it was the seventies. They just yeah. they were like we have concrete blocks. Yeah. yeah. No, but then they're building a new building and their architecture is similar to what they Yeah, it building. still doesn't look good. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. I think that there's a lot of other things that like outside of science and engineering that um, I would like to see more of at MIT but the good thing is that you can cross enroll at Harvard oh, cool. and take classes over there so amazing yeah. amazing like we all know <laughs> <laughs> well the workload sure yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's very bad workload. okay consensus workload it's gonna be super cold and uh, I live far away from slow so, sure sure yes. it's about to be real cold yeah yes okay I, I feel the same yeah it's gonna be really cold. Too cold, too cold. What's your major and why did you choose that major? My major is 6.3, which is computer science and engineering. I just really like like the logical mindset behind programming. Um, it's really interesting to me. Uh, and there's a lot of career opportunities. Um, so it's like a very stable major to be in. I am a design and management uh, major. Uh, why I chose it? Because I really like design. It's like, it's you can create your own problems and like solve them. So it's also problem so setting, not only solving. So that's nice about it. And management, it really teaches you about how things function and like practically, how companies work, how things actually like work. Uh, so I like that about it. So I like the combination a lot. I'm thinking of uh, course 20, which is bioengineering, and I chose it because 
I'm like on the pre-med track mm -hmm. and I'm also like interested in both like nanotechnology and like bio so I guess that just fit my interests. Great. Yeah, I'm kind of a similar major. I'm Core 6 7, which is CS and Bio. Um, I'm also a pre med. <laughs> um, I think that's not really representative of the population here at MIT, but yeah. we both happen to be pre med. Yeah. So I'm an applied math major. Um, I chose it because I feel like it gives a lot of flexibility to take both pure math classes as well as like statistics and like things that I can apply to the real world. So I like to have like both sides. I'm an architecture major. Uh, we have one of the best architecture programs uh, in the world, I think. Um, and we, our architecture school, including the grad school, is uh, all like welded together, and all the programs we have are like intertwined with um, different aspects of architecture. We have like the technology side. We also have like the history side that, like, all of us get in touch with at some point. So it's really cool. That's so cool. Um, I'm a linguistics major and I chose it because I think it's like the best like humanities field to combine with tech and I thought this is like the best place to do it here as well. Great. I'm a computer science major. Uh, I, I just took some CS classes in high school and I liked it so that's what I'm doing and it's just this is like the best place to do it. Oh, great. Um, I'm an AI major. It's the new major. Um, yeah, I don't really I don't really know what I want to do yet so I might be switching to CS. So yeah, I don't really know yet. Both of uh, we two are from the Master of Business Analytic program at MIT Sloan. So I did data science in undergrad, mm -hmm. and I think it's a great combination of also data science and business. So that's where I want to go after graduate. Yes. Amazing. Same. Uh, we are in the same program, and I studied math and econ uh, from undergrad. I think math and econ is just like a um, synonym for business analytics, so yeah, it, it is a good, good path for me. And what would you say is the biggest misconception about MIT? I feel like that, um, there's like this misconception that, yes, I feel like MIT is a very nerdy school, and I think that is true, but with that like association comes the idea that like they don't know how to socialize or like they don't know how to work with other people. Um, and I feel like, at least in my experience here, that's not really true. Um, I, I've yet to see what it's like in the like, at workforce, but I think um, definitely people here are good with other people, um, so yeah. Uh, one thing, um, a lot of people are definitely like engineering, computer science, but not all people are that major. So there are a lot of uh, management, business analysts, so people are interested in other stuff than engineering in here as well, so. I feel like one of the biggest misconceptions is that like, people think that MIT students grind like every single moment of their life but like that's not true and I think we also have like a lot of fun like yes we definitely do have to like really study really hard for some times but um, in general I think like we also do, do have like a lot of fun in general um, we hang out we have Duncan. <laughs> we got Duncan. That's what matters. That's so true. Yeah. I think like also this might just be like a general misconception about college, but like not everyone is like focused on their grades and stuff. Like yeah. everyone has like I guess like different things they prioritize. Like a lot of people invest a lot of time into like the clubs that they're part of and like doing research and stuff. So I think there's like a lot more to think about in college and like balance. I think that when I first came to Boston, I thought that a lot of MIT students were just like studying all the time, like only math and stuff, but people actually are really passionate about what they what they came here to do, um, and that's something that I really like about MIT, Harvard, Boston, everything. Yeah. Well, I think there's an obvious one. Like we're all, we aren't all nerds. Sure. Yeah, there's all types of people here, but um, also I don't know. What do you guys think? They're like, isn't like. <laughs> like <laughs> MIT people don't know how to f have fun or something. There's oh like, yeah, 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 yeah. We're all like, just you like you only work do hard. learning, you only yeah. study, you don't do anything but study. Sure. Yeah. I agree with those. <laughs> <laughs> all right, fantastic. I would say before I come here, I would think um, people here are really technical and um, they might be only focusing on technical things, but it certainly is not the truth because um, everybody here has also like other interests and they are very good at them too. So yeah. they are both really technical and also good at um, social lives. I thought I'm going to be the worst student at MIT, but I figured out that everybody <laughs> is confused by some lectures. <laughs> there's, a, there's always someone more confused. Yes. Uh, what do you do on weekends here? What do you do to unwind? Honestly, I don't have, like, this semester I had, haven't had much time to unwind and it's been a lot of pee sets. Um, but if I'm free, I like to go skateboarding. Um, it's like my main hobby, um, play video games, read books. Um, so, yeah. 
Uh, I like to see my friends uh, in different colleges in this area. There are different colleges in here, so I like to visit them and, I don't know, go out for food or something with them. There's a lot of <laughs> parties <laughs> in, like, the Boston area, like in Frats. Yeah. Um, but also just like I love to hang out with my friends in general, like go to Newbury with them, um, just get good food. Uh, sometimes they need to grind for my exams, but also like I do it with my friends, so that's a pretty chill time as well. Makes it better. Yeah, yeah, I'm also in a sorority, so I like do things like with my fam line or like other people in the sorority. Like we have like our meetings on the weekends, so yeah, that's what I'm up to. Weekends, um, sometimes I go into Boston with my friends. Uh, there's like restaurants and stuff hang out, watch movies, yeah, just like typical stuff. <laughs> Sleep? Sleep, yeah. okay, good answer. Yeah. Um, walk into Boston. Sure. I play a lot of games. Nice. Uh, yeah, I meet with friends like that aren't from MIT. I, I can go first. Um, for this weekend, I might um, go some theater and watch some shows. Nice. Yeah, but it's not typical. Um, <laughs> typical weekend will be me studying and doing some homework. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Uh, Similar, yes. I, I got a lot of projects to do on weekends and I'm going to a Harvard Web3 like forum or cool. seminar event on Sunday. And there's another Yell <laughs> after party right, right. On, on, on Saturday night. So it's partying and uh, projects. And final question, uh, what did you write your application essays about to get into MIT? I remember I was on like the swim team um, growing up and I like, absolutely hated it. And I wrote my essay about like how much I hated being on the swim team for one of them. Um, and I think I wrote just about like being Ethiopian for another one and like what that like was like for my, like the culture was like growing up, um, so yeah. Uh, I wrote about, I think my cultural background, uh, a bit about my father and like how I understood it and like how I think of it now and my hobby or like what I like to do, what it means to me. Stuff. Yeah. I think I wrote about like my transition from South Korea to here because I came from Seoul, South Korea in seventh grade to US. So I think I kind of like talked about my, my transition and like how that impacted my whole life and just Great. general those stuff. Nice. Yeah. I think I just wrote about like my passion for like why I want to be like pre-med and like see us in bio. But also I think like with the MIT app essays, they like really encourage you to like answer honestly. Mm -hmm. So like for some of the questions where it's like, what do you like to do? I like genuinely just talked about like random things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like what, what kind of things? Well, this is like not me personally, but my roommate wrote hers about um, how much she likes cereal. She just like wrote about cereal. I respect that, I love yeah. cereal. I wrote, so in high school and like still now, I'm really interested in languages. Um, so I wrote my essay on uh, a constructed language that I created um, and like how I structured the grammar, how I added vocabulary, all of that. So That's so cool. Yeah. That's awesome. I came in knowing I was going to do design, so I wrote about like a sculpture that I made. Cool. Um, I think I wrote about linguistics and why it interested me so much. Um, I, I wrote about my experience trying to get into an orchestra and how uh, I didn't get it at first and then I got it after a few years and then I, I also wrote about my friends and just things that I like. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I generally don't really remember but I remember like one of the questions was like what you do for fun or something and then like I wrote about like how my friends and I would like go to the mall and we would like go into a random store and we would just like pick out ugly outfits for each other to try on. Love <laughs> and, that, love that. Yeah, kind of just like tie that into like a bigger like meaning in life or something like that and yeah that's probably what i wrote about if you like this video and you want to learn more about top colleges and universities all around the world please like this video and subscribe to crimson education and if you want to take the first step to getting into the university of your dreams click the link below to sign up for a free consultation with one of crimson's academic advisors who can talk to you about everything you need to do to get into that dream university and start you on your journey that's it cut